In this video, I'm going to make my own external SSD. So what I do is I bought a Hagibis portable hard drive enclosure. This is the enclosure and we will put on the memory here. So now we will open it. There's a manual on how to set it up in uh, English and in Chinese. So we will open the case and get the hard drive this way. Okay. Now I need to open this case. There are two heat sink in here, so maybe on. I have to look for the memory card. This one has to be here for the spacing. The screw has to be here because it doesn't directly touch the uh, the motherboard or the PC board here. Now there's a notch here, so you will insert it here and then push this down and screw it. Before we cover it, we will try to connect the PC. Okay, I'm going to move this one up. The extra screw. I think I better put it here so I don't lose anything. Cover. Now we will get the the computer and we have to initialize it we will initialize it so i'm going to insert this one and insert it here and then okay, okay. allow let's move down here allow it and i was able to recognize it since the the memory has been uh, formatted already there you go I was able to read the file record okay recording okay so it was able to read the file so this is okay already it's working already now that i know it's working i can cover it it's working so we will next put the heat sink uh, the heatsink is enough. How come there are two? I think this is the spare. So we will put the heatsink. What's the proper name for this one? Does it touch it? This is higher. So definitely it will touch it. So the other one is a spare. Okay, it is. Look here. I just double check. Look, the part of the sticky area is in the heatsink already. So it's it is touching it. Just I just want to make sure that there's a connection. Now we will... This one is like this. This is where you make the connection. So, I have a two terabyte external drive. This is my two terabyte external drive and this is the USB-C cable. I will put on the cost on how much I spent with this two terabyte uh, external SSD that I assembled myself compared to uh, uh, Sandisk or uh, Western Digital or other two terabyte uh, branded. Uh, by the way, the SD card that I use is also Western Digital. Just to, just to let you know, this is a Western Digital uh, NVMe SSD. So we will compare it with the other external hard drive and see how much cheaper it is when you are brave enough to assemble your own. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Geekygram.